What is up guys? Welcome back to our channel. We are back in England right now. It's very cold. The weather's actually not too bad to be fair. It's quite a clear day, but we left our tripod in the twins car in Orlando. So we got you set up on a deodorant can right now. <laughs> How does that feel? Yeah, you are currently perched on a deodorant can, so you might fall down, who knows. But we are back here today for another Trick Tutorial Tuesday. What are we learning today, Lynn? Today we are learning the front side 313, a trick that has caused me a lot of pain. Also me in the past as well, but for some reason at CWC I could just do them. So we figured we'd film a tutorial whilst I can still do them. <laughs> so let's get underway with learning this trick. The first tip which we have is make sure that you are to the inside of the running wires before you throw this trick. It's really important that you're inside so that you can pass the handle really easily when you're in the air. If you're outside of the running wires, when you throw the trick, the handle's gonna be really far away, so just make sure that you are in on your toes before you start cutting. Tip two is the progressive cut. So you're gonna start your cut, as Ryan said, to the inside of that running wire. You're gonna to wanna to start with a reasonably gentle cut and work your way up to that hard edge when you get to about the three second mark. Yeah, the key for the front side 3-on-3 is to have a really strong release. This will allow you plenty of slack when you go to pass the handle. If you don't have a strong release, sometimes it can feel quite hard to get that full front side 360 round. So the strong release is key. Yeah, so the next step is you're going to load up your front foot slightly as you're about to release for this air trick. You don't want to be stargazing out of crypt. You can load that front foot up. It's going to keep you on axis so that when you throw the 3-on-3, that 360 comes down nice and clean for you. Yeah, common misconception is that if you really load up your back foot, it's gonna make you spin around the full 360 really fast, when in fact, this is counterproductive. So as Liam said, just keep the weight on that front foot. You wanna focus on throwing a straight Rayleigh and then doing the front side 360. Which brings us to the next tip. As soon as you are in the air, in the Rayleigh, it's really important to bring that handle down to your left or right hip, whichever foot forward you're doing it, with two hands, and then start to turn your head as you pass the handle. That way it's gonna initiate the rotation for the front side 360. Once you've got that 360 initiated, you wanna turn your head, grab that handle, and spot the water so that as you come down, you can bend your knees and ride it away like it's nothing. So a quick summary for the front side three on three. You wanna start your cut inside the running wires. You want that progressive edge three seconds building up to that hard edge as you release. Yeah, make sure that your release is really strong so that it pops you up in the air to give you enough slack for that handle pass. Pull it down into that back hip to initiate the 360. Once you start at the turn, grab the handle and turn your head to spot the landing and ride away. And then you look like the coolest kid in the park because you can do a 3 on 3 and everyone wants to be your friend. Exactly, so that is it for today's Frontside 3 and 3 tutorial. We've got Pete Rose tutorials coming, other tutorials that we have yet to film, but they are coming. You guys asked for it, we will provide it. And yeah, we're looking to get you guys more involved, so drop us the comments, subscribe, leave us a thumbs up, share the video, all that stuff. We really do appreciate it. Thank you for your support as always, and I believe that is it from us today. That is, yeah. Thanks for watching this Frontside 3 and 3 tutorial, and we will catch you in the next video.